Good morning, folks. Happy 4th of July. We've got solar activity on the rise, a deep space quasar in views our eyes can't see, and we touch on the solar system fireworks due in the coming years. Right now, there are coronal jets, filaments destabilizing, a few sunspots trying to grow, and that large coronal hole traversing the north. Solar wind perturbation overnight drove another minor, lowest level geomagnetic storm, Aurora at high latitude. Next coronal hole stream will impact in another day and a half or so. So let's go to that eye candy. Looks innocuous in optical wavelengths. And then the X-ray light shows the nested cocoons of plasma excited by the central powerhouse core. Radio wavelengths reveal the jet of the quasar. And in the composite image, we realize how little our eyes are prepared to understand the heavens without radio, infrared, X-ray, all the different wavelengths. Folks, there is a new geophysics mystery as the Earth's core has been ruled out as the source of some specific noble gases in oceanic island basalts. They truly don't have a good answer on top of their identification of the mystery. They do offer the guess of some equally mysterious mantle source that has remained unmixed for 4.6 billion years. Good luck with that. Of course, we prefer the other explanation for elements on Earth that confuse the scientists, the real fireworks of our solar system, the solar micronova every 12,000 years. Here on the 4th of July, we encourage everyone who has our latest book to jump down to part four if you haven't got there yet. And on page 75, you'll find the solar system shift information. The entire solar system is changing, including the dust content of interplanetary space and the sun itself. By the way, the PDF versions of our books are now available again as part of the new Observer Ranch suite. Physical copies of the books are still sold out and otherwise unavailable, but PDFs are fully searchable by keyword, and you can always print it out if you want, which would probably be cheaper considering how expensive shipping has become. For those ready to read Part 4 or who already have, please also don't forget the big additions that came out right after our book did. Neptune plunged into an ice age just after Pluto's atmosphere collapsed, and of course after being trolled by astronomers who said micronova aren't a thing, all of a sudden, they're a thing. We greatly appreciate your support. That website is listed below for an easy click, observerranch.podia.com. We've got shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.